Okay, I saw the fight yesterday. Um, Lomachenko versus uh, uh, Sosa. And Lomachenko surprised me a lot. After that fight, I definitely will give uh, Vasil uh, Lomachenko. I will give him pound for pound status. I think right now he is the number one pound for pound best overall boxer in boxing. He surprised me a lot. I honestly never even thought that we'll ever put Vasily Lomachenko as a top fighter overall in boxing. But after that fight against Jason Sosa, who was a champion, who a lot of fighters were actually running away from, um, I'm not going. I'm not gonna say any names, aka Gervonta Davis. <clears throat> yeah, it was. You can actually go on YouTube. You can actually go on um, the fight um, fight ring or like different magazines, and it'll show you that Floyd Mayweather did not want Gervonta Davis to fight uh, Jason Sosa because it's too early. But Vasily Lomachenko made this guy look worse than an amateur. He made him look like an ordinary dude. The silly Lomachenko does everything overall that I just respect. He has the speed. Um, he was throwing. Uh, I don't think he has power shots. He has the speed, footwork, technique, defense, uh, boxing skill, boxing cerebral accuracy, boxing cerebral knowledge, knowing when to punch, when knowing when not to punch. He looked exactly like how Floyd Mayweather fights. How Floyd Mayweather just outboxes his opponent, where it's to the point where you just don't know what to do. He was just, he was just controlling. It was like his own boxing realm, and I have to give him a lot of respect. I gave him respect for after the Nicholas Walters fight, you know, but I gave him respect after the Gary Russell fight. But this fight just concludes like this guy is pound for pound status. This is how a pound for pound number one boxer is supposed to look like, um, and I see why HBO likes him so much. Um, overall. Um, about him moving up in weight, <clears throat> I don't think he should move up in weight. I think, I think they're telling him to move up in weight because they want him to lose. Or, but I know there are tougher fighters at the higher weights like Mikey Garcia, uh, Terrence Crawford. Um, these guys, I don't think he can beat these guys, even though he can't beat. Well, maybe Mikey. I don't even. I don't think he, he can beat Mikey Garcia, but or Terrence definitely not Terrence Crawford. <clears throat> Vasily Lomachenko could not beat Terrence Crawford, even if his life depended on it. But even though he didn't, he, he, I don't think he could beat those guys. I still will put him pound for pound because I feel that, um, you know, in his division, he's just been washing everybody. That's why they're telling him to move up in weight. Um, he really he really impressed me with Roman <clears throat> Chocolito losing, losing his fight. And what Andre Ward doing a rematch with Kovalev, so it's questioning. I would I would think they would have to put Lomachenko at number one right now. This guy is just very talented. This guy shows boxing. He shows why boxing is a smart game. It, boxing is chess. It's not about how big you are. It's not about how fast you are. It's not about how tough you are. It's about how smart you are. He puts the smartness into the ring, literally. I don't know what's happening, but unless, here's the thing, unless HBO is paying these players to just, these paying these fighters to just take a loss, that's one thing. That's unless that's happening. If HBO is paying these boxers to, to quit, I don't think that's happening. But if that's not happening, then I got to give Vasily Lomachenko pound for pound status about, um... People are saying that he should rematch his the, the guy that beat him before, um, uh, Salido. Uh, me personally, yeah, I think they should rematch. But I think Vasily Lomachenko will do the same thing to Sosa to Lomachenko to Salido to dominate him. Um, I overall think even if he's not top power power, he's top five. But right now they're saying if Vasily Lomachenko beats Marky Garcia. It's a done deal. He's definitely pound for pound. No excuses. No one can talk anything. There's nothing. Right now, there's, there's the, I'm, I'm putting in pound for pound right now, but a lot of people can debate. They can say, oh, he, but he can't be Mike Garcia. Oh, he can't be Terrence Crawford. He doesn't have to be Terrence Crawford because Terrence Crawford is in a, uh, a whole nother class. Hold, hold on. Wait a minute. He flashed like 140. But 
if he can beat Mikey Garcia, um, I will start respecting him. And he's more than a pound for pound. He's superstar status. This guy is superstar status. So um, this is Right Hero. This is my YouTube channel. All right, peace.